Today is the very first Zer since the Season of Opulence was released earlier this week, and I'm going to be going over his location, the items he's selling, as well as give you guys my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the very first Zer since the Season of Opulence has went live. But before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of June 2019, then sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what types of videos you want to see on this channel. As well as a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below. So, Zer is located on Nessus. And he is by the Watcher's Grave in this little area. So let's go find out what he has this week. Also, do not forget that come July 2019, I will be doing a new giveaway for Destiny 2 Shadow Key. So definitely stay tuned for that. Zer, what's up, dude? Nice to see you in a new location, man. So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Weapon of the Week, which is the Sweet Business. Then we have the Karstein Armless for the Warlock, the Ashen Wake for the Titan, as well as the Sixth Coyote for the Hunter. We are going to go ahead and start with the Sweet Business. It's an exotic auto rifle. Turns the perk on this is Payday, which you gain a large mag, increased hip fire accuracy. Then we have Polygonal Rifling, High Caliber Rounds, Business Time, which... Holding down the trigger boosts this weapon's range and rate of fire and automatically loads ammo pickups into the magazine as well as composite stock. And this has two ornaments, down to business, as well as go about your business. I actually like the original uh, better. So if you guys don't have the sweet business, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a good exotic to have, um, especially if you're a titan. I definitely would give this probably a tier... Two, uh, yeah, tier two in PVE and PVP if you are a Titan, because Titans can take advantage of this more than Hunters or Warlocks. But if you're not a Titan in PVP, I would probably still give it at least a 2.5. Next is Card Snipe Arlets. In terms of perk on this, is Vampire's Caress, which melee kills restore health for a short duration. Then we have Hand Cannon Loader. Fusion on uh, linear fusion rifle loader, momentum transfer, linear fusion rifle scavenger, as well as rocket launcher scavenger. And this has an ornament called Gothic Horror. Now, these ornaments don't come with the exotic, but it just shows you that it does have one. It like, looks pretty, pretty uh, badass. Now, this definitely is in the top 10, probably like, yeah, top 10 exotics for warlocks. Um, you can use it on any subclass, so it doesn't matter which one it is. It is okay. I like it. Um, works, works real good in PvE and PvP. So I'm actually going to give it a tier 2 in PvP, but probably a uh, tier 1.5 to even a tier 2 in PvE. Only reason is because you can melee adds and constantly get the effect of this keeping the going. So definitely is a good exotic to use. Next, we have the Ashen Wake. In terms of perk on this is Bring the Heat, which you get improved fusion grenades. Then we have Bow Reloader, Sniper Rifle Loader, Kinetic Weapon Loader, Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger, as well as Sniper Rifle Scavenger. Now, this is an okay exotic. Fusion grenades aren't as powerful as they were in D1, and they did not get a buff or anything, nothing happened to them um, from prior to the Season of Opulence to the Season of Opulence, so I'm probably going to give this a 2.5 in PvE and PvP, uh, but I do feel like there are better exotics out there than uh, the Ashen Wake. Next is the 6th Coyote. Trying to perk on this is a double dodge, which you gain a second dodge charge. Then we have Unflinching Power Aim. Unflinching light arms aim, unflinching large aim, uh, large arms. Sorry. Then we also have our auto rifle reserves as well as submachine gun reserves. Now, this is amazing in PvP. 
If you guys do not have this, go ahead and grab it. It is definitely in the top five, I'll say it again, top five exotics for the Hunter. Just that double, uh, that, that additional dodge makes this exotic just worthwhile, especially in comp. So definitely a tier 1.5. You know what? I'll even ar you can even argue a tier one in PvP, but definitely a tier two in PVE. Definitely go ahead and grab this. Oh, real quick, if you guys do not know the tier scale, it will be in the description box below. I apologize. I should have said that earlier. As for your consumables, we have your five of swords, which gives you your nightfall challenge card, as well as your invitations. And this one's justice. And then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which does give you Forsaken uh, Exotics. So go ahead and buy these first if you do not have them before popping this, because you do have a chance to get one of these um, out of the Forsaken, uh, I'm sorry, out of the Faded Engram. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, Less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.